Well, we've all seen those sunglasses advertised on TV, right? They claim to improve your vision. They also say that they're comfortable, they're very durable, and they also have a stylish look. So tonight in Money Talks, we took a look to see if they were worth your hard-earned cash. And I wear Battle Vision by Atomic Beam for crystal clear vision when it matters most. Well, the first thing I notice is it seems very generous. You get two for the price of one. Now, the hardest thing about this really, though, is getting into this box. I mean, it is all plasticky and difficult to get the lenses out. But once you get them out, first appearance, they seem very durable. So let's go test them out with some KCN employees. James Lindsay is our evening producer. He was not floored. Yeah, I've got to be honest, they just kind of seem like regular sunglasses to me. They help eliminate glare, enhance color, and provide UV protection. Matt Gebhardt, our assistant news director and former anchor, was our real wild card because he's totally colorblind. These are not bad. Okay. These are not bad. These are decent sunglasses. And Curtis Quillen wasn't instantly wowed, but when we told him you could get two pair for 20 bucks, Suddenly, he thought it was a fair price. This is Battle Vision by Atomic Beam. But for 20 bucks, sunglasses that, can pol that are polarized like that, I'd absolutely buy it. Now, the style might not be the most popular. They do kind of look like a 1990s pair of Oakleys that you could get at a swap meet. Now, a couple things we noticed about these glasses. They're very durable. You can bend them. They even advertise at some point you can drive over them. They don't crack. They don't break. But if the frames come out, that would be a problem. Uh, someone at Channel 6 here did tell us that the nose hosel can break off. If it does, then it becomes very uncomfortable. Now you just have the plastic sitting on your nose. And something we also noticed, any fingerprints on the lenses show very easily. So you're always kind of wiping them as soon as you touch. So you have to be careful of that. But the consensus from the Channel 6 newsroom seemed to be two pair for 20 bucks. Yeah, not too bad. Probably worth it. Some cheap sunglasses. By the way, those will not work for the Bird Box Challenge. I found my two pair for the price of one at HEB. I'm told that these are also available at Walmart, or you could even order them online. If you're someone who always sits on or loses their sunglasses, then not paying a lot in two for one uh, for 20 bucks, that's pretty much 